Ladies and gents, welcome. I'm Noise Police, and this is called Make Noise with Noise Police. <laughs> the song that we're going to focus on for the very first edition of Make Noise with Noise Police is a song from the N64. The, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Some consider this game to be the greatest. Zelda, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so anyway, um, you know, I think it's kind of an easy song. I had to pick something easy that we all want to play. Here it is. So without further ado, I'm going to play a MIDI of it first so you know what it sounds like. You see, I have the sheet music uh, from bgleadsheets.com. We'll be plugging over here. I'll teach you what that's all about. You see, I have a in the middle. You see my hands down here on the keyboard. And when I play notes, look. You can see what they are. So we're going to teach you guys to read music, OK? <laughs> Slowly but surely. Or at least so you can see what's on the thing. And we also have a metronome, so everybody's gonna wanna get their metronomes out. Metronome doesn't seem to be working at the moment. <laughs> <sighs> so let's play this MIDI. Thank you for broadcasting the fuzz. So, the first thing to notice here is that this thing is in a 3 4 time. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. Right? So, that's what a 3 4 time means. I'm changing my metronome right now to be that. You can say it is a three, four meter. This is how a metronome works. See, we have a set to three, four time. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, four, two, three. See how the big one is beat one? It tells you what beat it is. And that 195, that's the beats per minute. BPM. Should look, your BPM should look kind of like this. All right, let's pause that. And let's learn how to play, all right? So the first thing you're going to see in the Zelda Let's learn about some notes on the keyboard first, all right? So most keyboards, their first note is either their, their lowest note. The lowest note that's going to be on your keyboard is, you know, because keyboards come in different sizes. For instance, this is a 61-key keyboard is smaller than the 88 key standard grand piano size, but there's even ones bigger than that. And perhaps you have a keyboard that only has, you know, 21 keys on it or something, or 11, or seven, who the fuck knows, right? But uh, the bottom keys are generally either gonna be a, a C, which has these two black keys above it, right? Or it's gonna be an F, which has these three black keys above it. So you can take a look at your keyboard and see, does my lowest note have two black keys above it? Or does it have three black keys above it? The ones, so this is F. This is C. F once again. C once again. F once again, right? But that's how you can remember, uh, you know, what the notes are on the keyboard. Just do it from what the bottom of the keyboard is. It's normally going to be those two notes. So we remember with the one with the two black keys is where our C is, all right? C and F, we want the ones. The C is going to be our ground here, all right? So this is a C, this note right here, and this is what it looks like in a bass clef or a treble clef. Here, I'll do two octaves apart, right? Those are two Cs. 
on the top of our little uh, thing right here is uh, our treble clef and our bass clef staff. These are C's. Bass clef staff has something called mnemonics that you can learn. F, A, C, E. Those are the different spaces, C, F, A, C, E, G. So you can, you can pretend that the bottom of the, this is what they tell fifth graders. The bottom of the bass clef spells face. F, A, C, E, face. So that's how you can remember what those notes are. And then this one is E, G, B, D, F, which is a terrible sounding chord, but <laughs> every, every, it depends where you grew up exactly what this is, but where I grew up, it's every good boy does fine. Every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, F. That's a monomic, Johnny monomic for every good boy does fine. And those are your lines of the mother and uh, treble clef. Every good boy deserves fudge, see? Chuckles knows what we're talking about here. Who else? Who else had one? Did anybody have a music school mnemonic that they taught you is, is and you never remembered what it meant, but you've remembered it all these years or some shit? Fine and fudge. There we go. <laughs> Where my face is on the bass. Put your bass up to your face like this, sexy, and go. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Right, I know, it's a, it, <laughs> the, the start of our alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Ain't no letter such as H. But that's just because, you know, it's, it, it uh, music doesn't have to do with what the notes are named. It has to do with the fact that there are like seven of them. Dig? Okay. So what they're, you know, we could have named them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> It'd be even more confusing. Empty garbage before dad flips. Every good boy does back flips. Does back boob flips. What up, Vigo? Okay, so these are your notes. We're gonna go over this at the beginning of every lesson till I drain it into your heads, but that's how you read music, all right? If you're having trouble with that, review, but showing you how to figure out what the, you know, C is this one with the two above it, F is the one with the three, and these are the notes, F, A, C, E, Bass and every good boy does fine. Deserves fudge, uh, does fractals. Every good boy does fractals. Every good boy uh, doxes uh, Final Fantasy nerds. Thank you, Math Metal, right. All right, so those are our notes. So that's gonna help you. Now, if, if, you, if you understood any of that, then you can look to the, to the far left side of the screen and understand what some of this is. But if you didn't understand about that, thank you for broadcasting the fuzz. If you didn't understand any of what I just talked about for the last eight minutes, don't worry, because you can just look down here, baby, okay? You can just look down here, and as long as you remember that there's a difference between the ones with the twos and the ones with the threes, and then it resets, then you're gonna be all right, okay? You can translate it to your keyboard. To know what your bottom note is, where... Let me get another keyboard, for instance. Hmm. We're gonna need this, anyway. We're gonna be playing this thing later. Ah. This is gonna be our melody instrument, right? I showed off this up the other day. But see, check this out, see? This has met much less keys than this, right? So if you have a keyboard that looks like this, don't be intimidated because I have one that looks like this. All you gotta do is say, well, what's my bottom note? My bottom note has the three, which means that my bottom note is an F. Right? The bottom note on this keyboard is a C. It has the two. Look, but this keyboard even has a C right here. It tells you where C is. And yes, this is C because it has the two above it, right? Visual learning. I'm try trying to teach you guys to get around on this thing even if you don't know what the fuck. 
<laughs> it's all about how you use it. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first chord we have is a D minor chord. D minor, remember I said this is C? Remember how I said that these, the ones with the two blacks above are C? Well, you guessed it, the next one up is D, okay? That's D, so that's where we're gonna start for this note. You, fi you find your C, then you find your D, that's where we're gonna start on this song. So we have a D minor chord, which is, I'm not even gonna teach you scales yet. We're not gonna learn about scales yet, but I will teach you about chords, all right? A chord, and I'm just gonna teach you two chords. There's only two types of chords in here, major and minor. A D major chord goes like, sounds like this. That's D major, yay! This is D minor. The only difference and I'm doing the same thing in both my left and right hand. Just don't, these are three notes, right? Minor, major, this note's the same. So the only difference is this note right here, which is called the third of the chord. When it's a major chord, it's called a major third. When it's a minor chord, it's called a minor third. So, a D minor chord is going to have a minor third. That's D minor. And if you need help figuring that out, all the chords are going to translate to the same things. See how this all of these are one up from all of these are one up from all of these. That's because each one is one note, two notes, three notes is your minor third. One note, two note, three notes, four notes is your major third. We're talking about a minor chord here. So we wanna go from our root note, which in this case is a D, remember, which is one up from C. And then we go one, two, three notes up. And then from our D, to find the fifth, we go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna get you your fifth from any note. Let's go do it from A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Still the fifth. Let's do it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's your fifth. So you're gonna wanna have these in all your chords. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is your fifth. And then the minor third is four. One, two, th or three, I'm sorry. One, two, three. That's your chord, right? Mm. Ah. All right. So that's our first chord. We have a D. I'm spelling a D in the right hand here. And then this is like the D chord up here, the D chord. The D, F, A. The next chord, I'm not gonna bother explaining to you. All I'm gonna say is you take your hands like this, right? On these notes and you move them all up one right key. Boom! That's the second chord. That's an E minor chord. Remember how I said that it all, you know, translates, transcribes? Well, you can do the same thing and it's gonna line up. It just happens to be these white chords. It's still one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. E minor, D minor, E minor. See how they sound the same, but they're one is one is is higher up than the other one. You can see it visually. See, look at it. This this one is lower than the next one. So those are our first two chords. So loop on those if you're having fun on your keyboard now. We have our D minor chord, which is the first chord we learned, which is, you know, you can play Ds, and then a D, F, which is the minor third, and the fifth, which is A, and then you just go up to the E minor chord. All right, now check this out. 
Why is a it, you're that's a serious question. All right, why is a fifth seven notes? Because we're talking about half steps. We're not talking about whole steps. A fifth is five scale steps. Because when we talk about fifth, when we talk about notes in relation to numbers, we're talking about the the numbers are their scale degrees. And right now, I'm, I'm I told you I'm not going to talk about scales, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk about scales today at all. Maybe I will when if we get advanced. I'll talk about what's yeah. I'll talk about I'll talk about scales later, but. That's the interval that it is of their scale degree. So it's one, two, three, four, five. See what I'm saying? Well, I'll do it on D. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the fifth, but it happens to be in half steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? But it's one, two, three, four, five in relation to the scale. One, two, three, four, five, fifth. Wait, that's sif. Anyway, <laughs> more on that later. That's good. Uh, that means you get what I was saying before. Um. Okay, so. Oh, that's with the seventh, wait. And guess what? The next chord, which is F major, is. Hey, it's all the next white keys. So, what we're doing in the left hand is just D. Which is, uh, will it show my cursor on this? No. The first measure is D, the E, F, E. See, it says it. It literally says it. The first four bars tell you what to play. D, E, F, E. The dash means minor, and if there's nothing next to it, you assume it's major because that's the default. So, D minor, D minor. There's nothing, so it's F major, E minor, D minor. E minor, there's nothing, so it's F major, E minor. So that's the first eight bars because it just repeats. We just played the intro to Song of Storms. And of course, we're just doing it like this to learn the chords. But then you add that three, four, um, pa, pa, and this is where, if we the fifth, this is where this comes in handy. Right? You wanna practice with a metronome not play with a metronome. Let's add that oompa pa beat. Let's see if we can make the bottom note long. Like that, things like that. You can practice turning around the oompa beat. So instead of uh, so instead of uh, it's see, it gives it a whole nother flair. But you know, it just forces you to practice in a different way to get you just comfortable. You know, and just not so that you can. We're not, we're not just trying to learn how to play the stupid intro. We're trying to learn how to play the keyboard, right? Or whatever instrument you're playing on. Uh, so that's, so you got the intro, right? So let's learn the rest of these scales first. You can see on the third line down where it has the A in a square, that's rehearsal letter A. That's where the melody comes in. You start to see notes there. That's the melody, you know? Or whatever. Um, uh, I can't. I'm looking off my browsers, my OBS right now. Um, we got that going on. Let me let me get the music up. Duh. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna keep learning the chords. We have D minor. We know that chord. That's the same one we played. We have E minor. We know that chord. Same one we've been playing. We have the F triangle seven. Guess what? That's the same exact chord. Don't get confused. They're just giving you a little extra jazzy information, but for your consideration right now at 12.49 p.m. It's the same thing as this. So that's the same four bars we've been playing. So we know the first 12 bars of the song already. Tricky to learn on kazoo, right? So, you know, and I'll whistle. Here we go. So here's the intro. Now 
What do we do? Yeah, Dorian and shit. Uh, well, well, we can we, if <laughs> hopefully in a half hour we can spice this up. Now we have this thing that says B flat, and remember, we all, we're all, we only know two types of chords right now, and that's major and minor. If it has a dash next to it, that means it's minor. If it has nothing next to it, it means it's major because that's the default. It's like we just assume. If we see B flat, that means oh, it's it's. <laughs> what we would sing if we were a child or a bird or some shit, right? So that's why it's the default. So B flat, what is that? What the fuck is a flat? Well, flats are these black notes that I was talking to you about, right? And uh, remember, if this is C and this is F, well, if this is C, we know what C is. This must be B, right? The one below, C, B is the one below. So I guess that this black note that's like in between B and A. Cause this is A, it goes C, B, A, right? I guess this black note right here, right between, I guess, it's like a B flat. Or I guess if I'm thinking of it like this, it could be like an A sharp. But C, B, B flat, that's B flat. That's called a B flat, see? Remember what we learned about our mnemonics about every good boy, boy? That's the flavor flavor right there. Every good boy, boy, it's a B flat. You see, it even pops up. <laughs> that's that's got to be a new thing right there. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna be saying D a lot. Okay, so we want this chord. Now, how do we figure out what the hell a B flat major chord is if we don't know anything about that? Well, remember the formula I gave you. We want to go seven notes to find the fifth, remember? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so B flat, this note, which is F, must be the fifth, and that sounds right. I feel grounded in the earth, like nothing is wrong. Like I, the earth is healing, right? Like these notes blend together, right? Okay, now the third, remember, it was three notes. One, two, three for the minor third. But we don't want B flat minor, we want B flat major. So we can either count out, oh, it's one, two, three, four, because it's either three or four. Or if you've been following along and you're starting to get bored, you can just think, wait a minute. If this is minor, then whatever note is the next note above is major. And if this is major, then whatever note the next note down is minor. And I'm talking about this, the third, remember? Because we're talking about the scale steps like Zexy was going to do, but if you, if you don't understand that, just remember that the major chord has a, two notes. One is four notes above, and the other is seven notes above. So there's our B-flat major chord. B-flat, D, and F. So that's our B flat major chord. So let's practice going from our last chord to this chord. Our penultimate chord here was All of a sudden this is starting to seem like speed running, huh? Safe state. Safe state. Safe state. Whoops, fap that one up, save state. Fuck that one up, save state. Save state. Let's see if I can do it with my eyes closed or just looking in the camera. Hey! Hey, we're practicing. This is how you get better at things. Okay, so anyway. Well, that took a lot of practice to learn that weird B flat chord. What's the next chord? F, hey, we know F. Then what do we have again? B flat? Hey, we just learned that. So let's do everything so far. This is from rehearsal letter A. Here we go. And then A. Well, I can tell you that remember we know A is here. We can even hear that it's going there with our ears, can't we? 
But we remember that if we want A, and this is A major because there's nothing next to it, it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's this chord. Okay, A major. Or if you're really following along, you already know B flat. Remember, it's just all of these notes down one because it, this is just like math. Everything is like parallel and, and planes and stuff. So you can practice doing that because these are the chords we're going to. We're, we're going back and forth, right? 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 So, and it's, and, you know, it's a, it's like, ah, strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his word, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his With his song. Those are the two chords we are dealing with. So if you want to practice your A and B flat chords together, going from one another, just sing the end of the Fuji's. So let's just practice the the four, those four bars. I'm gonna get to them though. Here's from A. This is so. Here's from A, and then we're gonna loop uh, the fifth and uh, fifth through eighth bar of A. Here we go. So it goes. I gotta. Do, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do the voicings that I've been doing for you. This is how you practice, right? So, this is how you practice something like piano, at least. And then when I feel good about that... Then we can go on, right? Okay, so what's the next four bars? Oh. That's like our default riff. Now all of a sudden we can put that shit in our short term memory. Like this is the Rugrats theme when we were growing up or Chopsticks, right? I should be able to play this shit in my sleep, right? The D minor, E minor to F. I should be able to play that shit in my sleep by now. And look, it just came up again. So, okay, let's, let's look at these last two bars here. Uh, B flat and A. Hey, we know those chords too. We just spent fucking time practicing them. All right, so let's play this whole thing. We're gonna slow it down to half speed, which uh, seems to be like a, down to 100 or something. There we go, 105. I had to tap it out. I had to tap it out, boy. Here we go. And another thing you can do is just practice the bass, right? You can isolate your hands, so let's just do the bass first. And then when we repeat, we'll add in. So we're gonna play the song two times. And by the way, this has a weird form. First time is just gonna be our left hand. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, two F. A, D, E, F, E. Here comes the B flat. B flat, F, B flat. A is one down, back to D. D, E, F, E. And back to this weird B flat. B flat, and then one down is A, and then back to our bass note. Ooh, that's... Because, so now you, you you might start to be understanding form. It's like, D is our root. 
this is like our home base. If you start to play it, you start to be like, well, this is like, this is where I'm going, baby. This is where my hand wants to go back to, right? Where my ear wants to go back to, that's because it's the root, because this song is in D minor. That's why we use numbers in music. All right, so let's do it again. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. D minor, D minor, F, D minor, D minor, E minor, F, E minor, here's the melody. D minor, E minor, F, E minor, here's that B flat chord, B flat. knowledge with just the basic knowledge of like these chords and I'm not even talking voicings we're just planing like this remember when we were doing that shit where we're going from like here it's a big hand change right we'll talk about that in a second but it's the saddest of all keys I know right um but it's planing is what it is which is why it's good for instruction Okay, so let's, for those of you who have been paying attention to, um, well, let's, let's try to pick up the tempo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, get up! Here we go. Let's do 187. The tempo is 187, which is prestissimo! Here we go. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, uh! fun right just add some simple rhythms just a little stuff bah, 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 bah. that's a good idea let's teach you how to play the other part though all right so notes now, that Koji Gondo is good right he's just he, he probably wrote that song in five minutes see how this note remember we learned where C is and remember we learned that we we therefore know where the D's are these nuts so remember Every good boy, well, if this is E, then this is D. And you can see that the first note at A is a D. And of course, on a D minor chord, that sounds like it probably right, yeah? Play a D on a D minor chord, that sounds like it makes sense. So the, the other note happens to be an F, which is the minor third. And then, so we have And then it's the same thing. So there it goes. That ain't a Dorian E minor chord. Uh, music and gaming. So that's great. That breaks up the planing because, you know, it would be boring. Here's a sidebar. It would be boring if he went. He keeps this the same while 
Because we've already, we've already, we get the point, we're like, oh, I see where this is going. And then we hear, you know, and we're like, fuck this shit. But then he st keeps it this the same. And we're like, oh. Right? That's what this triangle, that triangle seven business, it's because of this note. Okay, so anyway. And then you go up one. And it looks, see, see how the note goes up one in the staff? It goes from that held D right here to it, the E. Doesn't it make, is it start to, starting to visually make sense to you? Like the notes, like, oh, that's higher. That's one lower. That's one higher. And it looks, I can see that it's one higher and one lower, right? Well, it'd be like a fridge, a Phrygian thing. Well, maybe we can try to diminish. Uh, here we go. So anyway. Which is an A minor chord technically, but uh, you know, that's easy enough. You guys can fool around with that right easily. And then we have... It's so pretty. See? And I'm gonna show you that these are notes of the chords, see? Because I can land on them. Interesting. Let's listen to this just by itself because melodies are very pretty by themselves. I think the best melodies are ones that if you listen to them by themselves, they sound like your mother was singing it. But when you put it with the music, it's it sounds like different. Sadder, generally. Mm. Okay. All right. So, I got to learn how to play this thing. So you got this is how we're doing it. All right. <laughs> is this the way I do this? Or do I do it like this? Okay. So anyway. So if, if let's, uh, I need, I need the other thing. Ah. Okay. There's a pan pipe melodica. Okay, so. If we're looking at this, you know, I'm gonna play this as if it's like a ballad, right? At like ha half time. You know, like a. And it should sound real pretty. So it should almost sound like a, a lullaby, right? But then you put these chords under it that, uh, you know, give it some, give it some flavor, give it some darkness. That's, that's where the flavor comes from in, in good harmonic writing. You don't write a bunch of, you don't need to write a, a bunch of flavor in the melody. The flavor needs to be how the melody reacts with the things that are under it. Ugh. Okay. I know, that's a pan, pan flight thing. Okay, so if we want to talk about scales, music and gaming. I think Dorian, definitely. We know this has to have this. 
Probably has the C in it, so that's a... That's Phrygian. That's E Phrygian, right? Because it's... It's basically like we're in the key of F right now. Uh, this F Ionian, so it's like we have D Aeolian, but it's not Aeolian because we have the... I forgot I had a foot pedal. I always do that. I'm, I'll, I'll go I'll go sets on gigs and forget I have a foot pedal and be holding in all my notes and stuff. Um. Right. Well, that, because as 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 anyone can see looking at it, that's the one with the accidental. That's modal mixture, right? But the whole reason it's there is to get go to this chord. But they're able to, I think, make a little one four thing out of it with a chord that's in in there already. You know, this very like night. I can make a tenacious D sub. And he swing in the he swing from the thunder and the thunder and the heathing and the swords and the horses and the evil queens and the demons and the knights of the forest elves. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, the holy diver. So, we have those chords, obviously, Lydian, I think, right? Uh, yeah. And this is gonna be Lydian as well. And then see, this is where we could this, this is your chance to whack it out, you know? you know you know put a little sus on the a so if we that would be the next thing i would do i would i would go i would just put a sus on the a you know what i mean especially since the d is already here from the b flat chord See what I'm saying? Music and gaming. So by just playing with that A chord and keeping everything else as is, you can start to make this. That's how this starts to sound jazzy. It's all about you by 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 altering the five chords and you know playing the hip shit. Uh, sauce. What else? Voicings. So remember, I was talking about how it's weird to go from a D do da da D D do da da. Well, what I would do right there is go B do da da instead of going to. I would go because it's this is the same chord. It's just a different order of the notes. You understand? Like these are all the same. These are all F major. It's just, this is F, A, C, this is A, C, F, this is C, F, A, this is F, A, C, this is A, C, F. Those are called different voicings. The way we arrange the notes from top to bottom is called the voicing. So what you do is you just use a different voicing, a closer voicing. The trick to playing piano is to keep your voicings close. That's where the game comes in. Guitar too. You do it on guitar too, because you don't want to move a lot. So 
The next closest voicing is not here. The next closest voicing is here. Well, I mean, Koji Kondo has built the voice leading in for you. He does all this planning, but then he adds a, a jazz turnaround to it, and it legitimizes it. And plus, uh, to avoid further monotony, because we can see that first four bars are one thing, the second four bars are the same thing, the third four bars are the same thing, the fifth four bars are the same thing. To avoid monotony on that, too, he also has this irregular length. You know, it's supposed to be a... You know, right, but that's not what it is. Instead, Because, did you see how stupid? I didn't want to hear that a second time. <laughs> but he cuts two bars off it. You can see it. You can see how it's four, 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 and then there's just two bars. All right. Who has that? There's like two bars missing and so it keeps it keeps the cycle the circle and I believe this is this is in the windmill right so he probably wrote this thinking it would be in a windmill turning round and round and he wanted it to uh, to give the the listener a feeling of some like disorientation to keep them from getting sick you know what I'm saying you get you giving them Koji Kondo is giving you a, a, just a tiny bit of disorientation to keep you from getting sick of his shit. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Hey, we did that for 40 minutes. Hey, Stalwart Turtle, how you doing, man? I, I'm going to highlight this and put them on YouTube. Just in a generically in a folder. Very little editing. Bam! <laughs> well, if we have no questions... Oh my god! I guess we have to give a, a follow-up performance now. Is that what we have to do? Mm. Music Theory and Kazoos, that's right. That's what we should title the stream. Music Theory and Kazoos. <laughs> 40. We just broke it down. We did it for 40 minutes. We got that shit. How did Super Mario World go, by the way, Mr. Tales of the Blue? I know that you've been, you were, you were, you were getting towards a PB and then you got a PB. And then you're still playing it, I see. Going for multiple. This is called the flat palm technique. Where? On Bowser or like at the beginning? Or the fucking shell kick? <laughs> mm. So I'm going to give a two minute speed run tutorial breakdown of this. Yes, stalwart turtle. So I explained that earlier and I will explain it again that the dash you see that or as you put it the minus means minor. 
So the first chord is a D minor. The second chord is an E minor. And then we see F. And that's F major because major is default. That's default, baby. That's that's breast milk. So, uh, you don't we don't need to put anything next to that. We just assume that it's major. We put stuff next to stuff that isn't major. In this case, minor. A dash, a minus. Now, if you saw a plus, that's another thing. Run away. I'll teach you about those some other time. Uh, oh, ghost house. Gotcha. That's even crazier than underfly. Woo! All right, so here we go. Speed run tutorial, let's go now. All right, so we start by planing uh, just on a D minor, up, white keys, E minor, F. These are all modal to, you know, oh shit. That's the first eight bars, it's the same stuff as the next few bars, right? That's two to bar 12. All right, now B flat. Now, how do we find out what a chord is? If we need to find out a chord, we start from the root. In this case, this is B flat. We know it's B flat because we know this is C because it has two black keys above it instead of three black keys. And we, we know we're gonna memorize C and F, God damn it! If we memorize nothing else, we're gonna memorize C and F and know that C is below the two black keys and F is below the Three black keys and god damn it why are we gonna memorize c and f because it's probably the lowest note on whatever keyboard we have is either c or f so let's move on b flat we know this is c so this must be b and if this is a and this is b then this note between it i guess this is b flat and i guess this is a sharp but i guess this is b flat for our terms so we're going ba 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 we have to go to b flat so we're going to b flat and we know that a major chord is one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know it's this chord. Oh, cool. And then we already know F, voicings. And then we know this, and we know that A, we can do the same shit, or we can just say, oh, all my fingers move down exactly one note. Remember? Ah. And then we go back to this again, and then we do that a regular form, and we're back to one. All right, so here we go. Where's the kazoo? Get all that. Ah, my kazoo! Okay, here we go. bunch of trash <laughs> in my playing right there <laughs> but hey there we go make noise go home and make noise this is going up on YouTube I'm gonna switch it back to the radio and then we're gonna play some video games for the rest of the afternoon yeah